Okay, you guys, we are live at venue 252, and what you are looking at is part of the Metamorphosis event for Earth Day celebration. We're a day early, we know that. Uh, this is St. Vincent de Paul, and this is the place to be today. Yes, it's a sunny day, a beautiful day, but there's all kinds of cool stuff going on. And here joining me is Mitra. Hello again. <laughs> so Mitra is a, um, well, you're a designer, and she works for St. Vincent de Paul, and she takes recycled materials and upcycles them and makes beautiful clothing line out of them. I do. Yep. You guys, you got to see tonight. I will show you. Um, she made me a blazer. So I got a blazer at St. Vincent de Paul, and then she, we, I, I got to help. It was really super fun. We co-designed it. We co-designed yeah. it. She did all the work, but we went in and found this sale. I, we'll, we'll show it to you. I can't really explain it I have it, it behind my booth right now. So we can, so we can, we can go, go look, look at, at that. It, yeah. So what's going on today? What is this? What is this? This is our big fifth year anniversary of St. Vinny's Earth Day event. Um, it's a new expanded version. We have things going on for free today all the way from noon to five. Um, in the lobby where you're looking around here. Let me show you guys. These are the final projects for Bring's Product Design Challenge and Mecca's Object Afterlife. Um, both of these nonprofits gave materials to their artists and innovators. Um, they were discarded materials, and these people made these amazing products out of them. And you can come down and cast your votes for your favorites, and these artists will win cash prizes this evening. They'll be announced up in the middle of the fashion show. I think this is super cool right here. Yes. Usable, very usable. Yes. So look, somebody came up with this. They had they had this, this is stuff. what they were given. Fan blades, metal. Uh, this is a really difficult material to work with, he told me. And so they came up with games. Yes. I mean, look at this. That, those are so cool. Can you imagine? You'd be like the star of the neighborhood. Looks and like you could use them for like, you know, zombie protection. <laughs> you could do other <laughs> stuff with it too. Yes. So tonight, you guys, oh, let me show you. Hold on. Here's, and then there's clothing. And then a few weeks ago, um, Mitra had a event and they have local designers that they gave all kinds of materials to and an assignment to come up with a certain type of clothing, right? So, um, the fashion show this evening is the culmination of our St. Vinny's Fashion Challenge. Um, eight designers were given mystery bags of materials. These are discarded uh, salvage materials that they had to work with, and they each have made two outfits out of them. They were all themed, and they'll be walking the runway tonight, and you get to cast your votes for favorites. Um, Rick and I will we're be We're gonna MC it together. It. <laughs> and so, so that would be, I'm really excited. Yeah. And you guys, what's so cool about it is you see what can be done with stuff that people are throwing away. Yeah, and it's, um, so at 5.30, 6.30, come down, talk to us, meet our celebrity judge panel. We have eight people, local people. Um, There's cocktails. And cocktails. And food vendors. There's a food booth outside, Veggie Moto's out there. Um, and then you'll see the fashion show, um, the final projects. No one's even seen them yet, so we don't know what they've done. And you get to cast your vote again on the favorites. Um, then we'll have the award ceremony in the middle for the this these Mecca and Ring uh, challenges in addition to the award ceremony then for the fashion So challenge. you guys also, come here Mitchell, let's oh, go yeah. show. There's outside, just right outside here, I think I can keep my signal because I've done it here before, but they have people here who will work on your bikes. Yes. So they will be fixing your bikes down here. So you can bring, if you have something going on with your bike, you can bring it down here and let's see if we can get out here. I think okay. we can. I think we can do it. We're going to try to get out here and keep the signal. Yeah. Hey, my man. How's it going? So who are you? I'm Isaac. And who are you with? Also known as Ding Ding. Ding Ding? Yeah, Ding Ding. Ding Ding Cycles. <laughs> it's, my, it's my mobile outfit. So you guys are out here. Yeah. Hold on just a sec. I'm in here. Cool. So you're live, just so you know you're nice. live. Nice. Cool. So you guys are out here uh, just repairing people's yeah. bikes if they want to bring them up. Encouraging them to ride their bikes on this beautiful day. Come and support the events. So what do you do? You, is this is what you do? I just, put, I just put brake pads in this thing. I do it all. Why do you do it? To make people's lives easier. Really? I think their bike's better. Bikes are, bike is, bikes are becoming, you know, the Peace Health is... The I know, I was there. I was quite, I was quite, I've ridden them, oh yeah. I was quite I've seen them all over town I know, now. So and cool. I, I heard cool. some people going, oh, nobody's going to use them. I've right? seen those blue bikes all over the I know, the place. I know. They're, they're very cool. And isn't yeah. that cool that we have a town that people will, like we're, we're starting to do ride share, not only right. bikes, but also Uber and other yeah. things oh, are coming so to cool. town. So, so cool, yeah. I mean, we're we're actually becoming a big city. I know, I know. Not too many. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell, I know, don't tell too many people. Don't tell anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Guys, you can bring him down till five o'clock, and he'll he'll repair your bikes and fix them. Because 
he wants people's bikes to work on Earth Day. So, on Earth Day, and so you can use them. And but there's more too because okay. upstairs they're doing clothing. So hold yes. on, I'm gonna turn this around, guys. <laughs> Max goes ding ding. Yeah, that's right, Max. It's ding ding. Yep. <laughs> so upstairs we have a fix it fair for clothing and textiles goods, that's sponsored the by the city of Eugene. Okay. So we have some so, sewers. Let's go peek up there. Okay. And see what's going yeah. On. So you can come upstairs. Here, we're at venue 252, which is right down in the wit, um, kind of the edge of the wit. It's right down by REI. And while you're down here, REI's having something going on. They're having know. a big garage sale, I they're think. They're having a garage sale yeah. over there, so you can stop by the garage sale, and like, then you can come, come in here. here. So, so if you guys haven't been here, this is venue 252. All the art projects. Those are the, and then so in here. Here, there's activities for kids, sponsored by the Eugene Science Center and Mecca. So there's fun things to do for the whole family. So kids are stuff up here. Yeah. And, and then, then these guys. These guys. Uh-oh. Don't you love the way people look? So this is the Fix-It crew. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. How are you? <laughs> okay, so you're live, just so you know. Oh, great. Okay, so what are you guys doing in here? Uh, t we're fixing stuff today. Um. <laughs> Fix it. Well, that was a stretch for me. See how I'm not that intelligent. I have to ask these kind of dumb questions. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are you fixing? Like, what kind so of stuff? So, people can bring um, any sort of textile item, any um, worn gear. Uh, so, like, clothes. Things that have buttons are missing, yeah. zippers are zippers, screwed up. Yep. God, um, I wish I would have known that. Yeah, and all for free. And we have, like, professional and volunteer fixers here today. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. So, are you a professional or a volunteer? I'm a volunteer. So, what are you fixing? Right now, I'm fixing a dress. There was a cinched hem on the bottom of this dress, and she wants it to have more of a flowing, flowing thing. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking off the the previous thing, and then I'm going to just hem this up. Pretty simple mend, no big so deal. So, why do you do this? It's fun. It's fun. It's sustainable. Um, you know, much rather have something fixed up and, and custom to what people want as opposed to ending up in the landfill. So there's there's that part of it as well. So you have so. a mission. I do have, a, that's a part of it for sure, but I also just really, really like needle and thread. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool when so, they line up like that, it isn't is, it? It yeah. is, yeah. And I also do some visible mending, so patchwork where you can kind of see the stitches. And so sometimes things become a little bit more of a wearable art as well right. when people want that. Well, thank so, you. Yeah, thank you, Rick. That's very cool. And here's the kids, guys. So your kids can come down here and do some projects yeah, um, we, with the Science Center. And then they're planting seeds in these coconut bliss containers. Hey buddy, how are you? Good. What are you doing? Just helping out Just helping? to make this up. What are these? Seeds. What kind of seeds are they? I'm not sure. Did you plant some? Are you going to plant some? Yeah. Yeah. And so what else are you going to do? seeds, mixing up dirt. Gonna water them? This is Earth Day celebration. So you guys, again, we are down at venue 252. This is Metamorphosis, uh, an event put on the fifth year uh, by St. Vincent de Paul to kind of help us just get our minds wrapped around the whole concept. And you guys here, look, this is where the fashion show is gonna happen tonight. Oh yeah. That's that looks so here. cool. Yeah, isn't that nice? So tonight there'll be models going out on the stage, modeling and showing off recycled, upcycled gear, clothing that people have made out of a challenge, and you get to come down and vote on it. It's only $6 to get in, and it's going to be a fun evening. There's a cocktail hour at 5.30, and 6.30 is when the fashion show begins. Oh my gosh, there's Lisa down there with OSLP. Okay. Yeah, so down there we've got vendors set up. Um, some of them are selling sustainable um, goods. We have Bill Leather Goods. We have an Envia Upcycled Fashion booth. We have uh, nonprofits that are doing fun activities and engaging games. So Let's go down there. Bottom. That's cool. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do? Okay, guys. So, so again, we are at. Hi. We're at venue 252, and that's the room. This is where all the uh, you can learn some really cool things when you're down here. And you can get free stuff, so we're giving away prizes. So there's prizes, yeah. free stuff. We have a passport. So you get a passport, you go around to all of the vendors, they sign off on it, and then when you turn it into our Metamorphose booth, you get a free uh, raffle ticket and a free prize. And we're raffling off stuff all day long. We're gonna have a really amazing bag made out of the same sale material as your blazer, that tote bag. Yeah. We're giving that away in a raffle tonight. Um, so, so we'll match, yes, is what match. she's telling you. So you better put your name in there, Rick. Right? Yeah, you know, you kid, I need that. that, you know, because my wife can have the bag. Yeah. Or I can have, I saw the bag, it's super it's cool. It's really cool. I, we can show it to you down here, too. Okay, so you guys keep working. 
Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm in your way. Here. We got people really working here, and I'm just having fun. Okay, so some of the vendors... Will Leather Goods is here. Um, we've got what is this lady doing? Yeah. You're live on Facebook. I'm live on Facebook. Come here. Okay. So who are you and what are you doing? I saw you doing something interesting over here. Yes, my name is Elena Clark and I'm with Northwest Biofill Tuning. I actually tune the human biofill. So just like a car, a vehicle, or a fine instrument, our bodies need to be retuned as well. And so as we walk through life getting bumped and bruised by either our own mindsets or other people's issues, um, it kind of creates a dissonant vibration or incoherent sound. So show me how you do this. So. Because I'm sure I'm out of tune. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use a weighted fork on you. Okay. And we're just going to strike it. And that, oh, I feel that. It's a very, very strong vibration. Yeah. Um, I have a, one session that I do that's actually a spa micro flush that is a meridian flush that is amazing. And what ends up happening is it feels like a one hour massage after I'm done. But unlike massages that only have a residual effect of maybe a couple of hours, yeah. this can last for days. So I have a bad shoulder, you know that? Is it this one? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so there's a couple of reasons why people will have bad shoulders. Injuries, so trauma needs to be released from them, or um, a lot of times we've got this little map here that shows the anatomy of the biofield. And so uh, your right shoulder here. That is so cool. Saying Say yes, yes when, when we, we mean no. no. Caretaking and accommodating. I, I know, I'm not, taking, that, care. I'm not that... taking care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So how do people get a hold of you? Um, Northwest Bio, NW Biofield Tuning.com or they can reach me on my phone number here. Okay, so you guys, if you want to write this down, 541 870 6633. Thank you. Thank you. I'll come back to be better tuned. <laughs> okay, you do that. Thank you, that was thank fun. You. So, you guys, there's all kinds of stuff. Just cool things. Come over here, Lisa. Come here, will you? Around the around the table. Yes, sir. Come on over here, honey. You guys, this is from Oregon Supported Living Programs Arts and Culture Program, and these are people with different abilities, all different abilities, and they create art, and it's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I have this pillow in my house. I do. I really do. Okay, Lisa. Hold on. You guys know Lisa, she's my young friend. I was gonna say old friend, but we've known each other a long time, but you're not very old, are you? No. So what are you guys doing here today to celebrate Earth Day? Um, I am, uh, I did a, a Jean Challenge fashion show. So you created something out of Jean material? Yes. OS, all the people from OSLP did that, didn't they? Yes, and also I did the um, apron that I have on. Really? Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, look at you. I made that on my own. And you were in the fashion show? Yes. Was your husband here? No, he is not. He's home. Oh, that guy, that rascal. Ah. So, I'm glad you're doing this. I am too. You having fun? Yes, I am. And I'm having a great time. This, making sure that everybody um, use earth-friendly stuff. Well, good for you. Lisa, thanks. Would you tell him hi for me? Yes, I will. Tell your, tell your significant other. Yes, I will. Okay, you're good. You're good, good. So, the makerspace... Okay, hold on, guys. The next year, we're going to be doing a makers challenge. We're adding that to our repertoire of challenges for Metamorphose 2019. So, if you want to come down and sign up to be finding out more information, though, we will, St. Vincent and Paul will provide some materials and the Eugene Makerspace that has amazing equipment and space for you to transform these materials into something that moves on its own. So I think it's going to be kind of like a robotics challenge. 
That's really super cool. Yeah, they had some really cool like gadgets out here earlier. Um, here's one of them right now. Project in progress. So, so, so they that's, make that's coming up next year. Yeah. Then. Yeah. And then we've got our booth. Oh, this is amazing right here. Okay, oh. you guys are live, just so you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um so this, the is, uh, this is a project of our sponsor, uh, Lane Waste Management. This is the Master Recyclers Program, and they're ditching the disposables, which means if you uh, take the pledge to stop accepting things like plastic wear, plastic straws, plastic bags, they will give you a set of this beautiful wooden bamboo. Bamboo. Oh, bamboo. Oh, that's cool. Let people know I'm talking about recycling. It's 245. Oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Kelly, we're actually trying you guys, to. So, Hi. So, as long as we're, we're, just, we're uh, talking about recycling, sure. you, you are. I'm Kelly Bell. I'm with the Master Recycling Program. And you're going to be doing a, a, a little talk here in a few minutes. I am. At 2.45, we're going to talk about what the new recycling rules are, how we got here, uh, lots of bright spots about recycling in Oregon, because there are many. And, and then some people things are really that you can frustrated do. right now because they don't understand. True. For the most part. That's true. And and there's a reason that they aren't taking back some of the re different recyclables. Mm -hmm. And some places are taking them and some aren't. Right. And that's, that's what they don't quite understand. Right. So she's going to be explaining that. She's an expert at this. She can tell you why, where, and what you can still do. Because I think a lot of people are frustrated. Go, well, now I'm not recycling. I have more yeah. garbage than I do recyclables, and it's frustrating. So you can kind of explain where that came from. Sure. And also, what I can still do on my own. Well, you can lot. do on your own and, and suggestions for behavior change so you're not bringing home so many things that you then cannot recycle. Right. And also, there are lots of things that are recyclable in other ways, not just the curbside bin. Right. You just need to know where to take it. So you, so you really need to think beyond that curbside bin. If you want to recycle styrofoam, if you want to recycle plastic bags, you can do that. You just don't put them in the curbside bin. Right. So we have to... It, it, I think we... My, my opinion is, I think we got lazy, and we made it too easy. We were enabled. We, yeah, because we wanted yeah. people to do it, and then we realized yeah. half, because I started thinking, yeah. wait, I got these bottles with plastic lids on it, and that's not, you can't intermix that stuff, you know? Right. And so I started right. going, thumb's not right here, so now it's kind of caught up with us. Right. So now we get to go back and work just a little bit harder. Well, here's what happened. Um, our trash generation, you and, what you and I generate um, year to year individually, has stayed steady for decades. It hasn't uh, really gone down, which is odd because our recycling has gone up and up and up and up every year. Right. So what does that tell you? If, if, if the trash is the same and recycling continues to climb, what does that tell you? Yeah. We are using more and more and more stuff and we're not making any gains in reducing waste. Right. We're just kind of treading water. And that's not where we want to be, and I don't think people really understand that. No, we feel like if I put it on the curb, it's going away, and I've done right. it. But and it might, saying, it might enable me to decide, well, then I can buy more convenience things because I can recycle some of it. And actually, people think they can recycle more things than is really possible. And one of the conversations that we've been having with the new recycle rules is I'll go and give a talk and people will say, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed, I can't recycle my pill bottles anymore. And I'll say, well, I'm sorry, sir, but you never should have been putting those in in the first place. So we're, it's, it's a time to reset, and now that people are paying attention to this, then we can talk to them about what successful recycling looks like. Thank you so much. So 245. 245. All right, get down here and you can ask questions of yourself. So if you have a question about that, you can ask it yourself. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, hey, Mitra. Okay, you want to see your uh, blazer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys. So tonight, Mitra and I are, are emceeing the fashion show. Yes. And so I went over there a week and a half ago and I went and bought a, a blazer for $5.36 because I'm a senior citizen at St. Vincent and, and then took it to her and we came up with, okay, so we're going to okay. show you what we got. These are the clothes. These are the things oh, that Mitra yeah. does. So look at this, you guys. So she takes jeans and then makes a skirt out of it. So recycling material to make a really cool skirt for people. That's what she does. She has a whole line of different clothing and things that she does. Like this. But look, so you guys, here's my jacket. Check this out. So that's just a jacket that I bought for five dollars and thirty-six cents. And then we went in, and this is a sale. This is a sale. So it's kind of plastic-like. Yeah. See that? Like you can kind of see that. Like 
and this is part of a what used to be a number or letter or something on it, and then we have. So she put that on there, and then we put the cuffs on because it's. Buttons. See the little buttons are anchors off of a sailor, or a, a navy out. Yeah, it was. And then she put a little bit of leather on the inside of these to make them more comfortable. Well, I put, yeah, oh, I put the, leather this, on the inside of that. That was that canvas material. Yeah, so here's the canvas material. And then, see, it wasn't long enough, so we had to extend, extend the sleeves that. a little bit. Yeah. So she did that. And, and then, then in leather, here, leather so, to make it so I don't have the plastic This is from a recycled coat. But, yeah. So isn't that see cool? So that's, that's what I'm going to wear live tonight. I think that is so cool. I hope it fits. I oh, should. It, yeah, it will. It will. Excited about that. So you know what we should do? We should go talk to the models, like find the people in, oh, the, yeah. in the modeling room. You guys, so this is going on at 5 o'clock. Let me hang this up okay. so we don't... 5 o'clock tonight. This will be down here. And again, you've got all kinds of activities. Just down the street, REI is having a garage sale. Um, you could just be earth friendly and hang out in the wit all day. Well, and, then at uh, 6, uh, 530 is our cocktail hour and 630 is our fashion show. So this fashion show is at 630. Yeah, do not forget, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, so you guys, we're going to take you back and okay. show you some of these, um, some of our models getting ready uh, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fashion show. Let's see. Let me make sure everyone's decent. All right. Everybody dressed? Everybody's clothed? Okay, you're live, just so you know. This is where it happens, guys. This is where all the beauty takes place. <laughs> Look at, so you guys are, the, you're paid like lots of money to do this, right? <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah to do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we've got folks making, oh, look at there, here we go. This is how it works. <laughs> that is the color hair I need. You wouldn't have to bleach it out. I wouldn't have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley could do that for you. I'm capable. Oh, I, I ran into a young lady the other day who had gray hair and she's going, I had to dye it this color. I said, I lived it. I lived it this color. So where are you guys from, You, the hairstylist people? Uh, from Imagine Salon. Imagine Salon. And then Ashley is American Traditional Barbershop. American Traditional Barbershop? I got some products from you guys recently. Yeah? Because some of your guys came on our show. Oh, yeah, for the Evergreen, right? Yeah, they were the, the yeah, ZZ Top guys. Yeah. <laughs> they were so much fun. Yeah, that's my whole life. That's your whole life. <laughs> so they're getting ready. And it's just, oh, yeah. This is kind of fun. So these, I don't want to give away too much. But okay. Some of this stuff were in the mystery bags. You can kind of see a little hints of things going on here. So they were given stuff, recycled, upcycled yeah. materials and given an assignment and then we're going to see tonight what's revealed and what yeah. they made. And no one's seen this stuff in its finality except for probably you models because you've tried it on, hopefully. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so if any of you yeah. tell... Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So you need to get down to venue 252 right yes. down next to REI yes. um, until 5 o'clock all this is going on. And then at 5.30 is the cocktail party, 6.30 the fashion show, um, there's food outside, food vendors outside. There'll be cocktails here at 5:30. Yeah. Um, it's a whole night of fun, and it's all to celebrate Earth Day. And we're doing it a day early, right? Yes, because you know we want to leave your Earth Day free to enjoy the beautiful weather tomorrow and the other multitudinous Earth Day events that I'm sure are happening in Eugene. Yeah, there's a lot going on. This <laughs> yeah. is we're kind of an Earth-friendly community, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely, thankfully. All right, so I will be back. You guys take this, share it on your page, and uh, p push it out there, and let people know what's going on. And uh, we'll see you tonight at 6.30. And they come in before that because there's stuff for kids, for adults, for everybody. Yeah. Um, so if you get down here to... Uh, for free! Venue 252, and it's free. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you tonight. Bye!